today, Saturday, January 30th, 2016. From NBC News, this is Today, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Erica. Craig, thanks. A precarious situation in California shows no signs of improvement. Homes teetering on the edge of cliffs because of storms repeatedly battering those cliffs. As the Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff reports, for the folks living there, there are still some who don't plan on leaving anytime soon. Just 15 miles from San Francisco. I know a dangerous situation out in California. Coastal erosion leaving several apartment buildings teetering on the edge of a cliff. These 1960s era apartments in Pacific, California. So this building here is scheduled to be demolished. Sit on one of those hillsides. Whatever you do, don't step out over here. Resident Bart Willoughby took us to see how repeated storms have been bringing these buildings closer to the edge of disaster, eroding away their sandy foundation. And you can see how brown the water is. That's sand in That's the water. That's sand. That's sand in the water. Wow. That Pacific Ocean water, warmer than usual, has accelerated the problem that's been brewing for years. If this coming El Nino is as bad as they predict it to be, will we see more apartments evacuated like this? Sure, you'll see the one next door evacuated. So we're going to the back of 310 Esplanade. There are 20 people that actually live here. Still? Well, yeah. The city has evacuated this building and this building. And just days ago, they declared this building unsafe as well. Now all 20 low-income residents must find some other place to live. People like Jeff Bowman. Well, nobody's going to be here forever, and everybody now is realizing that more and more. These apartments are teetering 75 feet above that crashing surf below. Now this is just a normal day, but during an El Nino-fueled storm, those waves could easily be more than double that size. I don't think it's necessarily all that safe. Bart took these recent photos less than a month apart. It's easy to see how much sand is now gone from the ridge. Each storm claims another chunk of the West Coast. My friend's dog went over the side on New Year's Eve. His part of the bluff fell, and the next day we had to put him down. You can see how easily this land crumbles apart. So far, that dog is the only fatality here on the rocks below that shaky ground above. For today, Dave Malkoff in Pacifica, California. So wild. Still ahead here, our medical roundup of the week's biggest health stories, including why exercising around the clock doesn't necessarily mean you'll burn more calories than if you took it a little easier at the gym. That's after these messages. Last one is a big group. Sit at the bottom and just hold.